Hey guys, it's uh, Joe from the Automator Isaiah, and we were uh, we had a request from someone on doing some updates to the window stepping tool, and and I basically told them like you know this is it's too niche you know you have the source code, but um, they actually tried to make some changes to it, and uh, and they were asking if we can look at it, and I'm like you know maybe Isaiah can look at it, but then I thought hey you know what so he started to open it in VS Code and he's like well where did they edit I'm like I, I don't know, and this is this is a great example of using VS Code with Git. Like, so, yeah. so show, show them what so, you're going to do here. Right. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I just uh, created, uh, so they sent me this file, the Windows snipping file that was modified. This is the original one, 68 kilobytes, 70 kilobytes. So they did modify something, but I don't know where the modification was. So uh, we will just go ahead and compare the two files. And that's something that you can do in uh, VS by selecting the two files here on the left. I don't need the outline right now. I just select the two files, right click, and compare them. Now, uh, let me just second. We have it here. Now, usually depends. It depends which one you select first. Mm. So, uh, depending on how you select them, on the left side I have the new file, and on the right side I have the old file. But I don't want it like that. I actually want to do it kind of like the other way around. This is one of the, those little things. You, you, would, you would figure it out, but basically you, the way how you compare the files, the way how you select them um, matters. And I think there is a way to kind of like switch them uh -oh. around. Like, yeah, um, and, and of course it just, it gets to what makes sense to you, right? Right, it's yeah. So my, my, my point is right now that I want to see the new changes as green not as red that's what happens right? right so but i'm gonna i'm gonna take a little time to take a look at that later on yeah, no worries. but i'm noticing that he was um he was he was working with an old version of the script because our script is already 129.6 but he was on 1.28 so he is already in an older version of the script right so uh, every change may not be actually what he did uh yeah that's right. Her, that's exactly it. So there are some things that probably I did. Now he kind of like added a few things here, like this BK ad, which I could use now to search for them. Right. But one quick way to compare two files is by using this compare function in VS Code. And the thing is that when you're using Git, you use this very often, like that's how it's gonna look all the time. Whenever you're opening the Git commands, and you're comparing it to the previous version, that's exactly the, the GUI that you're going to look at all the time. So if you're used to it already, then it is going to be very easy for you. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and move a little bit around and take a look at places because, again, most of those changes, it was myself. I did well, that when I did the new version file. Just, just for curiosity's sake, because we have the older version also, right? If oh we, yeah, so I could I could just jump to that version. Right, that's a very good. Uh, and that I, we really look at. Right, what so did. I just I, exactly. So now what I could do, which is a whole other selling point of using Git, right, is that we can easily change the versions right. we're looking at. So what I'm going to do real quick is first of all, let's go ahead and stash this change because I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to stash my changes for later. Uh, let me see one problem with this thing. Here it is. Stash. Stash. That's where you put I'm it gonna, in your cheek. It is kind of like I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> let me let me because there's something that I do want to keep. I want to keep the new file, but I want to stash my your original. Is that what you're the, something that I uh, include on track? No, just that. So this part here, I just want to call it like hotkey because I just added a hotkey. I don't want to lose that. Um, but that's the problem. It removed, well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna bring it. Now let's go ahead and jump to my previous version, the one that he's using, the 1.28. So this is the one. There has been like a lot of changes since that part, you see? So now I'm gonna just, uh, check out that branch. Now I am in his version. Right, right now we are both in the same version. And let's go ahead and use the file that he uh, 
you sent me. I think we had it in the email here. Let's download that. And bring it to window snipping here. There we go. Now, let's take a look at these guys. So let's go ahead and close those guys. I have uh, window snipping. We have the other one here. I want to compare it. Compare. There we go. So again, I do have my changes. And now you see that now we have just a few lines of change. You see that? Yeah, it's awesome. So much easier. So now I could just go down to whatever he is going. Um, this is the this is what he added. You see the opacity GUI is what he did. Um, now, so if he created a, uh-huh. Now he was playing with the alpha channel here. One of the reasons why it was not working is that he was changing the definition of the function. He was not changing the usage of the function, right? So where he had to change this, it was in the... <laughs> so basically this whole thing, let me see something. Here, he didn't do anything. He just added um, a menu. So when I run this script, what is gonna happen is that in my menu at the bottom, so if I run it, uh, he says that uh, the input file did not be opened. Ah, uh, that's probably because, let's see one. Oh yeah, for some reason it's empty there. Okay, no problemo, amigo. Well, the point is he created, he did my, um, the, um, uh, let me, there was something, my script object is empty there. So let's go ahead and grab it from here, version one, uh, library, script object. Let's grab a copy of that. up here there we go so now if we run his version you will notice that on the menu here he added one for opacity that's what he tried to do he tried to adjust the transparency of it save it he has his thing and now when you do kind of like this what he's expecting is that the opacity is going to be lower. Is that what he's expecting? I, I think that's I what he's... so, yeah. Right? So that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to control the opacity of it. Right. Now, taking a look at his changes, I see that he added the menu. So I could see that he added the menu there. That's okay. Um, I see that he tried to set the opacity here, but this is a definition of a function. Well, that's this is not where, value, right? Like, I'm sorry? That's setting the default value. If you don't pass anything that it would use that. Yes, right. exactly. So that is the default value when you create the, the, if you don't. So what I have to do is just click shift F12, which shows me different locations where that particular function has been used. And I would go to that, to the use of it. So, so this is where, where it's being uh, used. Yeah. And this is where he should put, Clues. say for example, 10. Let's value. put 10, right? So now this value that he added on, um, on the menu, you remember the menu that he's creating. I don't know if he's saving that to the ini file. So let's take a look at it. So. His GUI, he shows the GUI. I know that he shows the GUI. And when you hit OK, say for example, G submit, he just shows a message box. But that text, he just has to save that into the ini file and later on just use that as the transparency right. later on. You see what I mean? So here, uh, he, 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 had, he had a very nice idea. Yeah. The only thing is that he just needs to use that variable 
Yeah, in, in the function. In the function of uh, whenever he's save going it. to create. Right. right, he didn't save it, but I could just use that and modify it to whatever he needed. He tried, but the place where he tried was not the correct place. That, that was it. it. He was very close to the answer. So let's go to the location where it is. And here, he wanted to put it in 125. So let's go ahead and run the script again. Now with this change there. And when I use it, now let me go ahead and verify if that number right. can be very... Kind of thing, yeah. So that's not the one that is... Oh, oh there it is. You see that? Yeah. That's... You see that this is very uh, transparent there? Yeah. I'm sorry? Move it. Yeah, so, so I could move it. There it is. See that? Yeah, that's... that's you cannot very, see it. Right. right. So you cannot see it very much. Now, he, the original one is 255. So whenever you do this, you don't notice the difference between... Right. Well, the only thing that tells you that there's a hot screen, the, 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 the yeah. screenshot, is this little line right here. So again, his idea, perfect. I, I can modify it very easily now because I could just save it into the ini file that I already have. Mm -hmm. And whenever I call this function, I will do an ini read before that. And, and, the, and the value that I'm going to pass is whatever you set as an opacity before. That's it. And we have to make sure that the range, which maybe he did, but the range is the right range. <laughs> right. Now, the, the question is, because what what is I'm sorry. So what is the difference between 125, right? Oh, well, oh. yeah, it is there. Ah, uh, oh, because it was overlaying it. Duh. Right, <laughs> it was coming through it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. So if they're if they're right there, right. yeah, you right. cannot see the difference. But as right. soon as you do this, so now it is transparent. Maybe that's what he wanted to do, right? Right. I believe so. so. Yeah. So this is how you kind of like start adding options to your. Um, your program slowly you're going to be building up more and more options and a simple tool becomes something more complicated but that's how it goes like yeah can you add this option can you add this other option can you yeah. and, and that's oh. where and there's no offense on what he's doing but like to me i don't know how many i personally don't like i i those things drive me nuts so i don't use them but but it's not all only for me but no yeah but that, that's point about adding stuff and making it more complex i want a really simple tool Right. right. Like, that's where I'm like, yeah, that's the reason why I'm not good. I don't want to add it to the main one is. It's just based on the fact that you don't want to get this thing way too complicated. Right. Otherwise, draw the right. line. Right. Right. Exactly. So for him, if he watches the video, the only thing that he needs to do is this variable. He just has to write it down on Save the, yeah. in, in the saving of the ini file, which I already have kind of like a, like a, um, Variable for it. You have the you have the variable for the uh, where is it the config file here. So script config file is always going to point to the correct location. So here I would just any write right. The value is going to be opacity right, which is the file. The file name is going to be script dot any file or config file CFG file. I think it is. I always forget, but that's the cool thing about having it as a. How come it doesn't auto, doesn't it auto assist to you when you type in on other? Uh, that's 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 it does it in certain situations, and that one is one of them that doesn't do that. So then you will have to check on the section. I would put opacity here. So let's use opacity, or no, I don't even need a section for that or main. I don't know. Maybe the and then. Opacity. I don't know. I could do that. Um, and then later on, that's when I write it. And, and yep. where the where the function actually reads the um, when it uses so, so whatever he tried, okay, perfect, but that's not the one. It is where, where you use it, not where you declare it. So you he would go here and here he would do an any read on opacity on the script script so config file the section is going to be the main section i don't know what it is right now the key is going to be opacity and the default if i cannot read it is going to be 255 well whatever you want now i hear i just pass opacity right right 
Right. And that's it. So that's the only thing that he needed to do. He was very close to the answer, by the way. Cool. Yeah, much for, I, I'm impressed because, like I said, I've, I'm looking at the stuff that he was doing. I'm like, oh, I, I've, I've never looked at the, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and take a look at uh, something. I know that the app data we have here, window snipping, um, and this is the ini file, and I could just drop that in settings. You see that? Mm -hmm. So I could just drop that, the, the section that I want to drop, drop it at. There is in settings, and yeah. in the other place where we, where we took a look at, so this guy here. Should just bookmark that place and that's it. Um, here, the ini read is going to be here in that section. That's it. So, with that, if I run this script now, I should kind of have the option to select the opacity, which might be a little bit down. You can see we have, and I just saved it. And now the ini file has this opacity set to 105. Now, the next time that I take a screenshot, so let's go ahead and take a screenshot and move it around. It will have the opacity that he wanted. So basically, the the, the fix was right there. <laughs> he just had, he just uh, uh, needed to select the correct information, right? But it was good. Cool. Awesome. And then again, and now, of course, this if we cared to, you could bring these into our version. We're not, you know, going to do that. But we could, if you try wanted to, we could take right. that and pull them into our new version. Right. right. Um, but again, just, just pointing out the, the strength of Git and, and being able to do all the stuff and keep track of it. Right. Exactly. Awesome, man. Thank you. We'll talk later.